Good evening to everyone. How are you? This is Joanna, and today I want to share with you a few things. Um, I got some things from Ulta. I got some things from Walgreens, and I got some things from Bath & Body Works, and I'm going to share the Bath & Body Works first. I just have a couple of soaps, but first I would like to share with you, um, maybe a few videos back, I mentioned that I got this from Ulta. It was buy one, get one 50% off, and I didn't understand how they broke down the receipt, but I really like this. I tried this this morning. The smell is really, really light. I consider this something that I could use for work. Anyone in the medical field who can't wear heavy scents to work, this basically smells while you're using it, and then later on, the smell dissipates, so you don't really smell it much and if you're someone who likes to wear a light body spray in the middle of the day or something I think you could do that with this so I really do like these so much so that even though I tried it once I plan on getting maybe three more sets one set for my daughter one set for a friend that I'm sending something to out of town and another set for me as a backup now I do have to tell myself that I need to be using up some other things, but I also think that my son can use this if you have husbands in the house, sons in the house, brothers in the house, nephews in the house. I feel like men could use this. It's not a feminine scent at all, and again, like I said, the scent dissipates. So I just wanted to say that because I know that I show things and I don't often come back with how I like them if I tried them. Now as you know, I said that I got these two pocket bags from my last haul for my daughter and I'm putting together a little package for her as well for the umpteenth time because I've told you all many times I've gotten things for her. So what I got from Bath & Body Works was small but it was a couple of things that I could not get in the store. It was actually one thing I couldn't get in the store. And that was this Easter hand soap and I opened up the box so I could smell it but they're all sealed up like this. So I'm going to give one of these to her so that she'll have this set right here. And then I also got a watermelon lemonade soap. I plan on getting her the hand cream as well. She likes this scent. I don't know if it's a favorite per se, but it used to be in the body care when they made the watermelon and the watermelon lemonade. So I may or may not get her the candle as well, but I definitely want to get the little hand cream and put it in the little cellophane bags that they have. So these two items are for her. And then of course I got this when I saw it because I had a 20% off coupon. And as you know, I had said when I was in the store that I wanted this soap. I did not know they had it, and they told me they had had it the week before, and they sold out of it. So I got online and saw that they had it again, and that's what made me place this order. So all that I got in this order was a total of four soaps, which I got three of these, two for me and one for my daughter. And then I also got this Hawaii Ojai Coconut Sunset. When I first sprayed this, it nearly choked me. And I didn't even breathe right away, but as it, you know, spreads about in the air, I really, really do like it. So again, that's all that I got from Bath & Body Works basically was three of these and this right here. And I do like this. I have sprayed some. And I haven't smelled these yet. I want to, but they're all sealed up, so I'm going to open up the one that's for me. And then I'm going to take the items that are for my daughter and put them in this box. So the next things that I'm going to show you are probably what I got from Walgreens. I did forget to say that all I spent for the three hand soaps and the room spray was about $23.54 because I had another one of those 20% off coupons, which is one of these. And as you know, these are one time use and they last through June the 6th. So. If anyone goes to the semi-annual sale, these will come in handy for that if you're someone who orders. So if anyone would like one of these codes, which I just have one, just let me know and I'll try to email that to you because, again, they're one-time use. And, again, they sent a lot of these. So I did discover that the Honolulu Sun comes in a mini version. So even though I didn't like the hand cream, I'm still going to smell the body care and see if that's any different because... The hand cream that I had was a bit strong, so if it's lighter in this, I'll get the mini set, and I definitely want a bigger one of these. So, what I got from Walgreens yesterday, because I was in there, I think, another day this week, was this polish, and it's kind of like the Green Ocean, I think, and this one is called Devil's Stare. 
I don't know if you can see that. Devil Stare. Like S-T-A-R-E. And I plan to try this over some red and see what it looks like. But I haven't opened it up yet. And then this is going in my friend's box from Oklahoma because she likes hair scrunchies. Now, I haven't seen anybody talk about these, but these were like 99 cents and they had different ones. But I got dark. I was looking for a solid color because she likes black or navy blue. She does like dark things, whereas I like a bunch of color. But I thought this was neat because she could wear it like this. She could wear it around her ponytail or she could wear it like this this and I plan to get her some scrunchies to put in the box and she's also the one that I want to get another one of these sets for because she likes really really light things as far as lotions and moisturizers and I believe that's all that I got from Walgreens and besides that um, little scarf thing being 99 cents the devil stare polish was $1.99 I've noticed a lot of places are taking the um simple colors polish up like where they were a dollar ninety nine and two ninety nine they're now like three ninety nine and two ninety nine for the regular ones what i also got and i don't remember if i got this from walgreens or if i got this from our grocery store schnooks is the regular black cream um wet and wild polish because i saw that this was supposed to be good for stamping now the first one that i had didn't stamp that dark it didn't stamp dark enough for my liking um, it stamped like lighter than a dark gray or something. So I want to try this one because in someone's video and I forget whose it was that I saw They were using this and it looked pretty good. It looked like it wasn't as black as black But it was definitely darker than the dark gray shade. So I want to give this a try And then I went to blondies Because I was trying to scope out the china glaze light brights shameless to say I want all 12 of those colors all 12 of those colors um, but I also saw a couple of the nudes in the Morgan Taylor that I had saw from Rita Dalloway's channel and then some of the Kung Fu Panda colors that I decided I didn't want when they had the minis back at Penny's months ago. I've now decided that I want the periwinkle type shade and the fuchsia shade. I was doing really, really good about not getting anything. But at Blondie's, I did pick up I See You Wear OPI. For some reason, I always thought it was called I See You Use OPI, but I really did like this color, and I think it's a little bit duller than what it looks in the bottle, but I still want this. And then I wanted a large regular color paints because even though I have my mini OPI color paints, I do have plenty of full sizes. The ones that I got in the full size color paints were the ones that were not available in the mini kit. But I do know that as far as the mini kit goes, I would like a full size of the pink, possibly a full size of the orange, and a full size of the yellow. If I go through those, I probably would want a full size of each one. I don't know yet, but I definitely wanted a full size of this. So I now have a full size of this one, the um, original Sephora Formula X one. And I still have the two minis for the Morgan Taylor one since I've only got the mini Morgan Taylor kits. I won't get any more of those in the full size because I have enough of the OPI and the Formula X and the other ones. I have not yet crossed up um, the colors with the silvers. Like I haven't tried my Morgan Taylor or my Formula X with this silver or vice versa. So I haven't seen any videos on that. I suppose you could. But I'm not sure if those go with their counterparts or not. Probably wouldn't make a big difference. The last thing that I got was from Ulta. And I think they're kind of stingy with their samples. Each one I picked, or I should say the first order, I picked a sample pack. Now, the first order that I got from Ulta came yesterday. And I thought they messed up because the palette I ordered wasn't in there. Then they said it comes from two warehouses, which I think they should warn you about. Because I thought they made a mistake. So this came with the Z palette that I ordered. And then this came with the palette that I ordered. Now the Z palette that I ordered was $20 because I saw that they were $20 on Makeup Geek. I was about to get one from Sephora and I'm glad that I didn't because they're one that was like really, really small, like maybe a quarter of this. If you cut this in fours, was like $10 and their one this size I believe was $30 or $40. 
And then I happened to be on the Ulta site and saw these in black, lavender, leopard, and I think maybe a blue one. I'm not sure, but they're $20. And I haven't opened it up yet, but my intent was to put my Makeup Geek eyeshadows in here. So after looking at YouTube, I don't know if the Makeup Geek ones or these are the same. And I don't know yet if I'm going to need metal backings or anything like that. Or if there's anything in here behind this paper because I haven't opened it up yet. So I guess I could do that now. But I haven't tried to stick anything in here yet. So I really don't know. Um, but that was my intent when I got it. It was for my Makeup Geek shadows. Then I discovered today, okay, it does have little pans. It's got little pans here. So I'm assuming I might need to put the shadows in here. So we're going to try that out. Oh, not little pans. It looks like little sticky things. And I don't know if they have these separately, but that'll be something I can look into. So I guess I just stick this to the back of my little shadows. But um, what I was going to say is I just learned today that Ulta is going to be carrying the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lip Gloss Lipsticks and Single Pan Shadows. Some of the colors I learned about on YouTube I didn't see on site. And it looks like they're going to be in the store and not just online. At least what I saw was not labeled online only. So I hope that's the case because I saw a lot of pretty Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks and lip glosses that I wanted and I thought I was going to have to try to order them off their site. And it looks like I'll be able to go to Ulta to get them, which I want several. Now, as you can see, this is the item that I have been wanting that I learned about on Instagram when I should not have been on Instagram. I have enough points at Ulta built up for $11. So anything that I buy from Ulta, I'm going to be saving up those points to come off of the peach palette if they get the peach palette. Like this one was um, said that it was going to be an Ulta exclusive. I don't know if the peach palette is going to be a Sephora exclusive or if it's going to be sold in both stores like that Bon Bon Hearts palette was. I just know that I plan on getting that palette at Ulta if it comes to Ulta so that I can get money off. And so far I'm going to get $11 off. Now this was $36. And I'm going to assume that the peach palette may be the cost of what the bonbons and the chocolate bar palettes were. Because I do like that about Too Faced, that they do keep their prices true. They didn't make this higher just because it's, you know, a new palette. And I have noticed that Urban Decay has taken their palettes up quite a lot. It looks like they've had a price hike on all of their stuff because I saw their foundation for 40 And I don't think I paid 40 for my foundation. I believe I paid 32 so I don't know what their price point is, but I know that their Naked Palette, the first one I bought was $48. And since then, it's gone up by 6 So I don't know if everything has gone up by 6 or just certain things have gone up by, you know, a few dollars. But they did have one item that had eyeliners and some single shadows and I think something else that was actually discounted. And it was like in a mini vault type thing, but... I'll have to get on there and see more. But anyway, I finally got this and it came in the, let me see, this came by the mail and it was cold. So it's just now warmed down and I took a picture of it on Instagram. So it's richer in person than it looks here on my phone camera and it doesn't smell like chocolate to me. It doesn't smell like peanut butter. Every time I order these, it doesn't smell like anything, but I don't care. It's very pretty. I haven't tried this or messed with it or done anything at all with it yet. So let's see here. I'm going to try this. and We're going to see how this goes. Hope my phone don't turn over. I'm going to start with, I'll say, the first row. So let me see here. Here's the first color because I don't know if you can see this or not in my phone here. Here's the second color. No, you can't really see that. But I'll just swatch some of these. The color I have now here is Jelly. But see, I'm sitting like right underneath my table. And I don't have the lighting for this. So this one right here is the one called PB&J. But there are swatches of this all over the internet that are more clearer than mine that have better lighting. That's the Nuts About You. Let's see, jamming was the one that I was interested in. 
See, you can't really tell. And then here's peanut brittle. And then this one is rich and creamy. Right there. I'm going to try peanut butter cup. But yeah, you can't really see what I'm doing that well because I'm not set up for that and I don't have any kind of proper lighting. I'm just sitting here at my table underneath my regular light. But I really do like this. And I like the little card that comes with this because this is helpful to someone like me. But it shows you a couple. It shows you like a look you can get from each row and it's got it titled Rich and Creamy, Soft and Sweet. And then PB and J. And then I've noticed that it's along these sides here as well. So that was all that I got. And I wanted to come back and share this with you all. And to let you know how I felt about the soap and glory. I did open up one of these soaps. It doesn't really smell cotton candy-ish to me per se. But I wanted it anyway. It does smell soft like a soft vanilla. I wanted them anyway. And I got three in case... They sold out online, but this way I have one, I have a backup, and I have one for my daughter. So that was it. Until the next time, everyone have a great evening, and thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all of my newer subscribers. I don't have a lot, but they're just enough for me, and I thank you very much. I welcome you all, and also, I also look at y'all's content as well. I found a lot of new people for myself to subscribe to as well. So until the next time, everyone have a great evening.